and welcome to day two of the thing I started yesterday with Sheepa on Sheepa's channel. Thank you, Sound Alerts, for a message. I don't use you. I haven't used you for two years. That is actually mildly terrifying. It's been almost two years since I started streaming. About a week and a half, two weeks, I think. Let's make sure everything is refreshed so we're good to go. And make sure the ads have started. Because this is, this is one of those, like, I don't think this game is meant to be very long per playthrough. I don't think. <laughs> that was the joke I was making, Spilk. No, you see, I've cracked out my super lame boy. I'm oh, sorry, my superb lame boy. Has Seribot not turned up to remove shield mode? Thank you, Seribot. Um, let's turn that off. Uh, where is... There it is. Let's make sure that's turned off. This is fishing vacation. It's a fishing game. About the vacation. And nothing else. I recently received a letter from a dear old friend. I was not expecting that noise. Whoa, 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 whoa. That really does sound like a Game Boy noise. In the letter was an invitation to a fishing trip. It'll just be like old times. My friend wrote. A wave of nostalgia washes over me as I reminisce. It's been well over ten years since I'd last been there. As children would visit their uncle. Or they'd visit their uncle's cabin by the lake. It's going to take so much getting used to the old text again. The lake always had the largest trout you'd ever seen. Slowly regained my composure and made up my mind. I immediately wrote back, accepting my friend's offer. Not knowing it would be my biggest mistake. I should have never went on that damned. Fishing vacation! I'm really glad when I was testing this, the sound didn't work at first, so I, I didn't realise that that was going to happen. I skipped through all of the text to try and see what was going wrong, and then I just had to close the whole thing down and start it again, because plugging in my controller, PlayStation controllers suck for this, um, once again my computer decided, hey, you want your microphone and your speaker to be the controller, don't you? Even though you have, like, an actual proper microphone and you've previously told us to disable and never use the controller as a microphone. Anyway, so then he says, if you're as good as fired... Anyway, long story short, I'm gonna need to find a new job. But hey, we need a break every now and then, right? Either way, I'm glad you could make it, buddy. In all honesty, I forgot about the good old days. When I got mailed the cabin key from my uncle, all those memories hit me like a trout over the head. How has your uncle been, by the way? You know, I'm not too sure. That letter he sent... It's the only contact we've had with him for years. Last I saw he was going through the divorce. Must have been tough. Especially for my cousin. 
Uncle seemed pretty happy about it though. Oh, we're finally here. I imagine that the song that's playing is actually what's on the radio when they've been going mad listening to this for five hours. Mmm. Look at that beautiful, perfectly kept cabin. A bit more run down than I remember. Is my uncle even here? Well, only one way to find out. Last one in's a rotten flounder. Oh, the controls. Who needs diagonal movement when you've got a Game Boy? Go, Twitch, go away. I, I don't want to gift a sub to my own channel. Jeez. So you told me that like twice over the past couple of weeks. Mmm. Look at this beautiful texturing of the floor. Okay, so that's obviously where we go into sleep. No time to sleep. It's time to fish. It's in here. Nothing. It's the master bedroom. Hmm. Dusty books line the shelves all about fishing. Hmm, there's no one here. Oh well, more cabin for us. That wasn't an excuse for you to gift a sub spilk. Thank you anyway. I hope Joshy enjoys. This place hasn't had any visitors in a while. Looks like we've still got a bit of daylight left. Still time for a little fishing. I'll be outside. Grab those fishing poles and meet me out back. That looks like a fishing pole to me. And there's another one. Ooh, the fridge is packed with tons of fish heads. Okay. My reaction to inside of the oven is scorched all over. Sink is surprisingly clean. Table set for three. The plates are all pretty grimy. Can is filled with nothing but fish bones. A note We're leaving. Don't come looking for us. I am mildly concerned about that. It's a photo of a fish. Read about the Inuit mythos. Oh! That's a mythology you don't normally see in games. There are many gods within the Inuit beliefs. One such god is the goddess Sedna, goddess of the sea. Hers is a tragic tale with many different versions, either good or bad depending on the tale. Each version features the same conclusion. Oh, it's not going to tell us the conclusion. Um, in this fireplace, I haven't seen the final what in a while. Set of doors locked with three padlocks. Hmm. Ominous. Don't worry about worms. Tonight's bait is on me. But you're getting your own bait tomorrow. We have three whole worms. Lake is this way. So I'm going to go this way. You got minnows in your ears? I, I got your bait. Come on. Okay, fine. It, it's doing that Pokemon thing of, no, you're going to do the tutorial. Don't go the other direction. You're going to do the tutorial. Ah, just like I remember it. A bit more green, though. Now, is that just a joke about the lake being, you know, full of algae, or is that a joke about the goddamn colour of the screen? Because <laughs> it's on a Game Boy. If the latter, bravo. 
Read it in, buddy. Now some fresh air. Let's christen the start of our awesome vacation. Looks like there's something right in front of us. Go ahead and read in the big one, my friend. Okay, bearing in mind, it didn't give us any um, instruction on how to do this. Huh. Okay, so it is X to do the thing. There. I don't know what I did differently there, at all. This may get frustrating. Oh, okay, and, and we... Hey, we caught a shoe. Hey, yeah, we caught a shoe now. Now, um, how, how do I get out of this? It's not letting me do anything. Has the... I was going to say, did the controller just decide to die? Because if so, that's really frustrating. Okay, okay, if you work back up, it's work back up. At least we're doing our part in cleaning the lake. Plus, if you find the other one, you've got a new pair of shoes. The shoes are six inches. That's not a normal size for an adult. That's like... 12-year-old shoe size. Maybe maybe younger. That's a, Yeah, that's just a kid's shoe. That's not an adult shoe. Alright, that's enough fishing for tonight. Can we go this way? No. It's still tutorial mode. Aha uh ha. -huh. So, wait, what? What? <laughs> it just restarted the tutorial. What are you doing, game? You silly thing. You just pretend, just pretend that this is like the first time we've seen this. That's no, not the most edible fish. Blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yay, a tin can that's also six inches. Okay, that's enough fishing for today. So now, if I leave, there we go, he's actually here this time, okay. Ah, fishing is what my soul needed. Reading and dealing does the body, body good. You're weird. Bedtime! I know there are multiple endings to this game involving night fishing and stuff. I haven't looked anything up apart from I know that like night fishing is a thing. So I'm going to ignore everything else and just play the game. We'll see what... We're probably going to get a terrible ending, I don't care. Good morning! Up and Adam, early fish gets the worm. What? It's a phrase. Sure. Yeah, I am still mildly concerned that there's just a note on the wall that says, yeah, we, we got, we've got we gone, don't come hunting for us. Right, will you let me go this way now? It will. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, th 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 this, this is our... Um, we get 30 seconds to find bait. <laughs> oh, this, this, this is... This sure is a mechanic. Eleven whole worms. Okay, so it doesn't let us go there multiple times. We can't cheese it. Ooh. There's a spot over there, I see. I really hate this. It's really hard to get it on for some reason. I don't know if it's like controller lag. I'm glad I got 11, 11 worms. I did say this was going to end up getting frustrating. An actual fish this time. What's happening, Ginger, is this is apparently a horror game. Oh, we can move from side to side. But yeah, we need to obviously hit the thing that's like showing on the meter. But when I aim for it, it's not hitting it. And quite frankly, it's really frustrating. It's not controller lag, because I just tried using the keys on the keyboard, and it's just as bad. You, Carter. 
Yeah, it's it's slightly mistimed. You need to do it just before it hits. It seems. We got a bass. Yeah, you need to do it slightly before it's going to hit. Yeah. It, my thumb is going to absolutely hate me at the end of this. Same with the sardine. Sardines are not a lake fish. But this is a Game Boy game, and Game Boy games had no idea what they were talking about, so it's fitting. That's enough fishing for today. More crow. Bro, I don't think the game is actually very long. And we now have figured out the timing. Another successful day of fishing in the bucket. Too bad my uncle's not here to see all these catches. Uh, do, have, have you? Can, can you read? Have you? Have you? Have you seen this? This note right here. Oh, there's more. In this version of the tale, Sedna's a lovely maiden. Pursued by many of the local men, she rejects them all. As her father grows impatient, she meets an unknown hunter. The hunter requests his daughter's hand in marriage. Father accepts the offer, giving him his daughter. Okay, so it's not letting us go out for night fishing. Ooh, it's a painting of a fish. Oh, the the music slowed down. Hey, Dad. Eek. Oh, it's just you. You scared me. Sorry, I just had the weirdest dream last night. Wanna hear it? Yeah, let's listen. Okay, so last night, you see, I had a dream. We were here, but we weren't really here. And it wasn't really us. It was like someone that was like us, but not us. Um, And we were doing stuff, but not the kind of stuff we would normally do. Uh, the, you know, the usual... <laughs> I woke up, or rather, I thought I woke up. Couldn't move my body, but I could see. Freaky, right? It's called sleep paralysis. It's terrifying. It gets freakier. My eyes started adjusting to the dark. I saw Slenderman looking through the window. My window came into view. I stared at it. Felt like I was staring forever, but then... Just as I was about to nod off back to sleep... I saw it! <laughs> that was glorious! All of that build up for slowly moving from the side of the screen image boo haha did i scare you all right enough spooking let's get to hooking a, a what no I came here for fishing I, I i yeah i came here to fish 
Still locked with three padlocks, okay. I assume somehow I'm going to end up finding three keys. Must get worms. Ten worms. This time. We shouldn't waste any, because we know the timing. There's more birds. So one at the back, one there. I can't believe this is the kind of gameplay I used to have on a Game Boy. You, now, once again, this is a lake. Why are there so many sea fish in this lake? I'm getting mildly concerned. Is Alan Wake involved? Again, lobsters are not fresh water. That would be a crayfish. Oh, we have we have a, a one here that was not there before. Thumbs are going to hate me so much. You got a... a unicorn fish. Which may or may not be a real fish. I've never heard of them before. Well, that wasn't a fish. You caught a... We caught a key. I'm fully expecting there to be some kind of scare if I carry on moving the, to this side of the screen. Okay, there wasn't. Is there anything else for us to fish?
Oh, this one's a... You, Carter. Okay. Can I just randomly aim anywhere? Will I actually get a fish if I do this? Apparently yes. to glean if I was a better artist and I was willing to put myself through pain I would use my skills to draw a persona craw daddy ginger and it would be terrifying. Which is why I'm not going to do it. Anything in this strange pile of stones? Likely just a fish. You, Carter. A clam! It's what Andlith smashes. All of these in-jokes from the D&D campaign. And by all, I mean two. More crows. I saw you. I don't know who you were, but I saw you. Ah. Only one more day of fishing left, my friend. Weekend isn't long enough. I want, no, need more time. I'm wishing for more fishing. The key fits into one of the padlocks. There's two locks remaining. Okay, it's not letting, letting us go outside. Okay, he's got the master bedroom. Okay, we're gonna get spooky. Hey, are you still up? If not, then get up. How's about we do a little night fishing? Ooh, let's fish. Meet me outside when you're ready. We are gonna fish. We need to keep an eye out for them.
Ooh, 11 worm. Keep an eye on the side of the screens for Spooky. Wow, this is the late at night, eh? Neat. It's plenty of moonlight. I can kind of see okay. Okay, I can't really see anything, but that's fine. We need to see how big catch is. Let's fish on, buddy. Oh, they are being nice. They are making the dark spots slightly um, lighter instead. Did you just hear that? Was was that a fish? No, don't don't worry about it. It's it's nothing. It's just a frog, surely. We've actually finally had something that can exist in the lake. Let's see if we can get a nighttime frog. Okay, we've got a tadpole. Well, that's close enough. I'm just going to ignore that for now. And go to this fishing spot. Yeah, please cover up whatever's there. moved or it has simply I don't like that that is a friend that that's the top of a head Now I'm unsure if I want to go for the one at the back here that just looks like an actual fishing spot. Or the person that's swimming closer to us. You know what? It's Halloween. You ready for possibly a spook? You caught a clam. Nothing on that side. Nothing on that side. I wonder what that could have been. Totally ignoring the fact that, you know, um, it looked very similar to the thing that we saw in the dream window from our friend's vision, and also the person we saw in the, uh, in the forest running away from us. That definitely isn't a lake fish. Okay. To the side. Nothing. I am waiting for this game to attempt a jump scare.
That's whispering. <laughs> Attempt fate. Yeah, these are all sea creatures. I'm simply going to use up the bait now because I don't think um, we're going to get anything else. We've had a, a nighttime spook of person in the river. I mean, I can't tell if that back there is meant to be something. I think it was actually. You caught up. Okay. Just make sure there's no specific thing to go for. There isn't. You caught up. Feeling a bit little freaked. Let's head back. Fish, fish, fish. It's a key covered in fish guts. Wish I didn't touch it. Okay, I thought I, I thought I'd double check because that's what I, I would have made sure that there would be a little like a little scare for people that went back. And then we, uh, one padlock left. This place is getting freaky, buddy. Feels like we're not wanted here. But if the fish are biting, don't be frightened. Just a reminder that, you know, the, the people that were here before said, we're leaving, don't try and find us. The father, in his haste, had just given his child to a bird creature merely disguised as a man. Determined to right his wrong, he went after his daughter. Rowing in his kayak, the man approaches the birdman's lair. He barges inside, saves his daughter and escapes. Shortly soon after, the creature learns its bride escaped. It takes flight, giving chase to its runaway bride. Now, is it the bird thing that we're fi that's in the lake, or is it the the daughter? Day three. Oh, and the music's got slightly slower again. Well, it's our last day. I feel like I've lost all my energy to fish. Something about the lake, it seems off. But we've got to end the trip on a good note. One last trip to the lake, what do you say, buddy? Do, do, do. 
While pursuing its bride, the creature makes a plea. It calls upon a sea spirit for help with her capture. As the pair escapes, their kayak is rocked by huge waves. At his wit's end, the father reacts hastily yet again. He tosses his child overboard into the icy waters. Sedna surfaces, gr grasping a hold of the kayak's side. With a swift motion, her father's axe swings down. Please, Sedna. We we weren't the person that smacked you with with a, an axe. Oh, what, what is that? It's, it's just an animal skeleton. That, that's all. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I, th I think we've got enough worms. Let, let's go fish. So we've got at least three to get. You caught up. That's definitely not an, a, a lake fish. Okay, so we've got three to get now. And three worms, how lucky. You caught up. And luckily I found that you don't actually have to um, spin the D-pad, like you're saying. I'm using the analog stick and I'm just wiggling it back and forth and it's working, so... You caught up. Now hang on. One minute. Something's off. Something's very much off here. Got the other shoe. Oh god, throw it back, throw it back in. Wait, there's something tied to the laces. It's a key. That shoe, I I feel like no. It can't be. Let's just let's just finish our fishing. Alright, I think that's enough for today. Okay, so let me guess. We had a a, a third friend. Um 
who got who our other friend killed and threw into the lake in uh, in, in our childhood. Is that where we're going with this? We've got all the keys. You go first. Let's have a look. Rest of the book is ripped out. Have a weirdly shaped cellar, my friend. Now that in front of us looks like a statue, I'm going to ignore entirely. A dirty bed, it looks like it's been used recently. It's the rest of the Inuit mythos. The axe connects with her fingers, chopping them off. With no way to hold on, Sedna floats down into the dark. Said as her fingers sank, they brought forth life. Her fingers began to transform, growing and contorting. They formed into creatures that are here to this day. Now fishes pay tribute to the sunken goddess, in hopes of a bountiful hunt granted by Sedna. Bottles are strewn about. They all have paper within. The paper inside is crudely written on it says, I only caught a glimpse of you, but I saw a lifetime in that glimpse, a life in which I beg and plead to spend with you. Hear me, Sedna. I've given you everything I hold dear to myself. My wife is no longer a hook in our mouths. My daughter is with you in the in the blue majestic depths. Please come back to me. Show me what you require. I'll provide it to you, my goddess. I pray you heed my request. Let me be your one. So, um, uncle killed wife and daughter, possibly. Sacrificed to Sedna who we're probably going to get attacked by, or spooked by right now, because it, it... Okay, crude statue made of mud and fish bones. That is a creepy face. G goodbye, Sedna. Um... Now that looks like it could be... It's the start of a tunnel, I wonder where it goes. Enter the tunnel. Yes. Of course we're going to enter the spooky tunnel. Okay. Overwhelming stench of dead fish fills my nostrils. The walls look like they could cave in at any moment. There seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Don't go into the light. Go further in. Yes. We are going to die horribly, aren't we? Path narrows. As I go further, the walls are slimy. It's hard to breathe, my heart's thumping in my chest. The end of the tunnel looks so close. The light. Okay, do I go further in or do I just go back? I feel like if I go back, she's going to be standing behind us. We're going further in. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, Uncle... His name's Gil. Uncle Gil? <laughs> Un Uncle Gil got us. We got the bad ending. Ending E for... Eh. Oh, it's a fishing game horror jam, twenty twenty. I wonder if where would it continue from? I wonder. Okay, it's like it will continue from here. So I wonder if we can get a different ending if we don't go into the tunnel and we leave. So yeah, we do the spooky spooky woman. We do all the the bottles. Oh, we've already taken one of the bottles. Okay. Dirty bed recently used. We're gonna ignore the tunnel. 
Okay, this place... Wow, this place isn't creepy at all. Let's make like fishermen and get our basses out of here. I fully agree. In another timeline, I saw your uncle. Alright, that's everything. Let's leave quickly. Hey buddy, I left the keys inside. Could you get them? They're near the sink. Oh, you absolute jackass. Hi, Uncle Gil. <laughs> we sped home after that, not saying much to each other. Once we got far enough away from that place, we finally started to decompress. We collected our thoughts and alerted the police about what we found at the cabin. It's been a while since I've last heard from my friend. They informed me once the police read the note in the bottle, they searched the cabin from top to bottom, but there were no signs of their uncle's whereabouts. A part of the mountain is now blocked off to the public. They said the lake was combed over every inch of its floor by a diving expedition conducted by the police. The divers found nothing within the lake's depths. The only thing they could catch was some of the largest trout they ever seen. Okay, ending A. I'm assuming that there's five endings. And I'm assuming that at least one of the endings is going to be we just never unlock the the um the cellar. Right, get everything. Let's go quickly. Get the keys. I think this, let's. I'm going to get the keys, and I'm going to let Uncle Gil catch us. <laughs> ah! Oh, I, I'm at the lake. Are you sacrificing us to Sedna? That's not very nice. Ending D. I don't think there's any other one we can get out of that. We've got A, D, and E. So we've got the We Escaped. We got the, oh god, the uncle got us in the tunnel. We got the uncle has got us whilst we're trying to flee. We can't go back down into the cellar now. Or can we? Oh no, it just instantly does that. Yeah, it won't let us interact with anything else. So I think if we want to get the other two endings, we're going to have to uh, restart. And do another run. Okay, we can't go back in. That would have been funny if we just go back in and just say hi to Gil. Okay, so sped home, blah blah blah. We've had this ending. Okay. 
Okay, new game. Skip to d let's. Ooh, I don't know which one is selected. It didn't show me. It just said skip. Or I'm assuming that was just skip day one prologue, which is fine because that it was just a tutorial. I like how they gave that as an option. A lot of games would not have said that. They would just gone do it. Um, game. Game. Hello. Have you frozen? I think game has frozen. Yep, game is frozen, and because of how it works, I have to unplug the controller, close the game, reopen the game, well, plug the controller back in, and then reopen the game. Let's see, there's three other achievements. Let me just have a look what these achievements are. Three hidden ones, well... Okay, so two of them are just ending B and ending C. Right, new game. Okay, now it's given me the option to skip or play the prologue. We are going to skip. We don't need the prologue. Yay, the music's happy again. Right, this time, we're not gonna night fish. We're gonna ignore everything entirely. We're just gonna fish. We will simply fish. I mean, I will just make sure that everyone knows this. This game was like really fucking cheap. This game was like one pound seventy or something. It's like two dollars. And it's done a better job as a horror game than a lot of other horror, like, especially like some games that I paid like ten times the amount for. I'm looking at you, Choo Choo Charles. Money I'm never gonna get back. They made it just long enough so that it was just too long to get your refund off it. Oh my god, that was two years ago. Two years ago and I still haven't, you know, forgiven them for that. I want my frog. I want my frog. What a frog! Woohoo! A really small frog. It's only three inches long. You, Carter. 
Yay! I'm hoping it won't take another hour to get to the last. I'm assuming we can get to the last two endings doing what I'm thinking. It would make sense. But obviously if we're not doing night fishing, then that should cut out some time. Yeah, at least now we also know why we just, like, fished up a great white shark out of the lake. It's because the uncle had been, um, sacrificing to Sedna. Koi. Didn't have that last time round. Because this was this was the night when I still absolutely sucked at the at the game and couldn't aim properly, you know, couldn't hit the button properly. A Murray eel. Yep, definitely, definitely pretty much all sea creatures. You caught a, I caught a manta ray. Can we just like, because we know this is where he was in the, in the final cutscene for A. Can we... no, it's it, it's not gonna let us do that. I was gonna say it'd be funny if we could just like, put it cast into the, into the forest. to use. Do we have anything specific to aim for? Nope. So I think we can just throw it anywhere. I don't know. Put it back in the lily pads. sitting for the day. Now is this where we... No, we didn't get it yet. He only show, started showing up after we listened to our friend's dream. I'm not going to read the book this time. Go to bed. Day two. Yeah, slightly slower. Right, we're gonna say no this time. Don't listen. That's okay, I don't really care to hear others' dreams too. It's really freaky, alright? Ready to fish? Indeed I am. I do not want to hear about the spookiness. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm here just to fish. How many did we get? Ah. Yeah, so still got the crows. That's fine. I just realised, I think this is the first stream where I've actually made a profit off it. Because Spilk gave a gift sub earlier. And that gift sub is going to come out to be more than the cost of this game. Was that... Did I see him in... In the woods? My cursor was over the woods, so I don't... I, I'm sure I saw something. Was this the one that was a hand? Yep. So the first key that we're not going to use to unlock. We caught a key. Which we're going to completely ignore. I did that too quick. You caught
I might just waste a couple of fish. I mean, a couple of worms. You, Carter. Never mind, I accidentally hit the thing. There we go, lost worm. Okay, top of the screen. There he goes. Uncle Gil. Now we know who he is. Only one more day left. A weekend's not long enough. I, I want more time. I need more time. I'm wishing for fishing. Blah, 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 blah. We go to bed. Hey, you still up? If not, then get up. How's about we do some night fishing? No. Hey, there's a cool fish that's nocturnal. No. All right, be that way. More fish for me. Day three. Huh. Our friend is not here. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm not feeling so hot today. I hate to do this, but f fish without me. I'll, I'll be ready when you, you get back. So sorry. So, first run through, he was at least up. But he was not feeling great. This time he's just simply not leaving the bedroom. What did I just hit? I think I've got enough worms. Oh yeah, because last time my friend was here to say, "Oh, that yeah, there, there must be an animal skeleton. It's fine, it's fine." But this time my friend is in bed and was not here to talk to us. And this was the day before where we had the um, the person's face pop up as they moved towards us. I wonder if one of the endings is we have to get to that point and then not fish their face and just let them get to the, the dock. Great white incoming. Oh my god, a natural lake fish. Thank you. 
that's enough fishing for the day. And this time we don't get our spooky trail of fish bodies. So we definitely have changed something. We only have one key, so we couldn't open that in if, even if we wanted to. Is that you, buddy? Hope you caught some fish. Hey, don't you go, go ahead and. Oh, sorry. Why, why don't you go, go ahead and get in the car? I'll be out in just a minute. Okay. I waited in my car as my friend gathered their strength and made their way to the car. It looked like death had floated up and washed ashore. As if they were okay to drive, but I got no response from them. We drove home in complete silence. Along the way home, I made attempts to get some small talk, but it was to no avail. There were times I even had to help guide them back on the right path after they missed common roads and exits. What was strange was my friend knew these roads like the back of a flounder. We finally arrived at my home. I got out and went to their window to say goodbye. Again, nothing but silence. I only received a blank stare before they abruptly reversed out of my driveway. Before they sped off, I got a good look at my friend's face. Although I, I wish I hadn't. Gonna get, gonna get a, are we going to get a picture? Oh no. My friend's eyes. They were the eyes of a dead fish. Okay, that's actually less, less interesting than I thought it was going to be. I was hoping we were going to get a full-on, like, cursed image of the, like, friend's fish face or something. Right, we now need ending B. It's the last one we haven't got. Um... And since we didn't actually have... to an option on what we did in that last one, I wonder what we do for B. Is this going to be a fresh start? Uh, nothing for day one, blah, blah, blah. So A and D, we talked to the friend on, on that day. Ending B. Go fishing at night and do not catch all of the fish. Okay, so I think this is going to be us having to restart and do one from scratch. Yeah, we'll skip the prologue because we don't need it. We have two more achievements to get. One is just is ending B. So we go night fishing, but we don't catch all of the fish. That way we don't get... We just need to make sure we end the game without all of the keys for the for the seller. And then the other one we're missing is um, basically the King of the Frogs. Which, because I didn't fish properly the first day the first time round, I didn't get to do that one first round. So 
So we need to catch the frog, the tadpole, and the frog spawn. And then on the fourth fishing that we can do, we should get the achievement. Ooh, 12 worms, that's a record for us. And we're going to waste most of them. Let me just double check. There's nothing I have to do specific for... Yeah, day one, no specific achievement. Previously mentioned achievements. Yeah, we've, we've done all those ones anyway, so there's no worry about that. It's So really, we could, apart from like catching the, the frog... From the lily pads. We could just waste all of the worms just to get it out of the way. In fact, I think I will. As, as much as I want to get the achievements for it all in one go. This gameplay is not the most fun. We caught a frog. Okay, so. Lost a worm. Nope, let's just let's just pull that back quickly and then do the Nope, 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 that actually accidentally hit the thing this time. Wanna make sure we purposely lose it so we don't have to waste the time. We don't need these worms. Oh, no, we accidentally did it. Oh well, that's enough fishing for today. <clears throat> Not even talking to the friend. Don't care. Go to bed. Right, night two. Ending bees. Go fishing at night. Do not catch all of them. So we have one day to do first. Not even talking to the friend at the window. I'm just going to leave him to be creeped out. I need worm. I'm gonna just get. I'm gonna make sure I get two. And then I'm gonna let the timer run out. Because that way we've got less to waste. And I've also got a spare just in case I do screw up throwing the. Um, or casting the reel into the lily pads. Which I shouldn't now, but just in case. So we should have got two. Yay! Right, so we hit up the lily pad. Hit the strongest tadpole ever that actually makes us have to, like, fight it. And then... Oops, we lost a worm. Oh well, enough fishing for the day. Well, this time we want to go fishing at night. Yeah, 
Yep, still up, get up, night fishing, let's fish. Again, I'm going to go and get two. Because that way we've got enough to catch our lily pad friend, well, frog spawn. And have a spare just in case. But we do not want to catch all of the fish. That is the point. Because that way we shouldn't get the key. We shouldn't trigger anything. Oh, and I got one extra by accident. Because I couldn't help but press the end. Ah, this is like at night. Blah, blah, blah. Spooky, yes. Ah. Okay, so we go... Lily pad. The strongest frog spawn known to existence. And then we're just going to waste the worms. Oh, let's go back home. No fish on the floor this time round. That's what night fishing's like. I don't know what I was so afraid of. Oh yeah, the dark. Anyway, thanks for the fishing. Oh yeah, because we didn't actually have the spooky face come up in the water, he's not scared. Well, it's the last day. I feel like I lost all my energy to the fish. Okay, so this is the same as the first one we had. He's a little bit lacking of energy now. Okay, that's two. That should be enough. Listen to the beautiful Game Boy era music. Oh god, yeah, I forgot. Control does... I thought Control did the outside... Because I just noticed it's the fishing pier. Rather than the um, super lame boy that it was the first time around. I don't know how long it's been like that. Probably longer than I expect. It's been at least a couple of nights, I think. Right, so... Important... We fish by the lily pad. Yay, we caught wart. Okay, that was the other achievement that wasn't the ending. Oh no, we've lost the worm. That's enough fishing for the day. Time to go home. No key. Well, I think maybe we have one key. Well, don't know about you, buddy, but I'm ready to get out of here. I'll be out in the car when you're ready, no rush. Okay, didn't leave his keys in there. 
As we drove away from the cabin, I couldn't shake this feeling of uneasiness. I left for questions. I knew there were answers. What was in the lake that night? What had happened to the uncle and his family? These thoughts still haunt me at night. It's been a while since I've last heard from my friend. When I last wrote to them, I asked if they felt the same nagging compulsion I had to return to the cabin and get some answers. They wrote back saying they'd be more at ease if the cabin sunk to the bottom of the lake. My curiosity doesn't sink so easily. I've made up my mind. I'm going to get back to the cabin. It has its hooks in my brain and it's reeling me back in. Just hope I don't become fish food. Eyes? Oh, no. Ending B. There we go. And there is a 100% fishing vacation achievement. Less than two hours, all the achievements done, all the endings. That is not a bad game for two dollars. I cannot fault it. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, it doesn't overstate its welcome. It's got some unnerving bits in there. Not so much on the on the the, the on the first playthrough perfect. Any playthroughs after that and when you know what's coming, it's like okay, whatever. But yeah, things like having the face, or what looked like a face bobbing up and down in the water and then it getting closer, if you didn't go for that spot for fishing for the first time. That was unnerving. I did not like that at all. The weird statue in the basement was it made me giggle more than anything. So did a lot of the, like, the weird, like... Um, they were off to the corner and they just run off the screen sort of things. They did just make me smirk because they, those are classic, classic little like sneaky bits. And then obviously the the face in the window, where we talked to the uh, friend about the dream, that just made me fucking burst out in laughing because that I've seen that in a in a, a horror game that cost more than this, done worse, and it still made me laugh in that as well because it's literally just like take a three D model and just like. Move it to the side and move it back. But yeah, that was a, a fun little game. A wonderful thing for day two of Spooky Ween for the WSBN. Since Sheepa was not feeling up for streaming a, day, a second day in a row, I have taken his place. That's actually one of the few games I've seen where the 100% has more than like 10% of people that have done it. 15.2% of people have done complete 100% of this game. I mean, granted, it's a short game, so that makes sense. But yeah, there's not really much else to do now. I'm If the game is over, let's have a look. I mean, I, if it had taken less time, maybe I'd have done something else, like like crack open, um, clip studio or something. But nah, it's too late in the day now. It's by the time I got into that, I'd be too tired to continue. Let's have a look who we can raid. I'm following people who are online. Marla's online, that's that's a surprise. I've not seen Marla online for ages. Zahn is online. Stars is online. You know what, Marla's not been on for a while. We're sending everyone to Marla. Who's currently playing Demonologist, so you know, a proper a proper spooky stream.
So everyone have fun. Thank you all for watching. Say hi to Marla for me. And see you next time. Possibly tomorrow for day three of Halloween spooking us. Depending how Sheep is feeling. We'll either be there or here or on Gingers or we'll be somewhere. Unless we don't. But yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.